my god, that's a huge spider. Holy crap. Look at that thing. It's got a bug in its mouth that's eating right now. No, no spider. No, this way. This way. Oh god, that's the t most terrifying thing I've ever seen. I just had my finger fully on that, like... Like, I just had my finger, I actually pressed on it with my finger, I didn't know what it was. Look at that thing, oh my god. It's so crazy looking. That is a huge spider. Wow. I have to reorganize my socket set because I picked up the toolbox the other day and it wasn't latched and I dumped them all. So now it looks like this. It's not very, not very organized, but uh, just Joe's putting in a swivel seat in his ultra stealth urban camper. Yep. He's supposed to be filming this, but he's a slacker. So there's so many sockets that are in the wrong place. No, I dumped it. Yeah, I dumped it. See, there's six point hex head ones. Then there's 12 point ones. And then there's a three quarter inch, or there's a quarter inch driver, a three inch inch driver, and a half inch driver. So each socket, I have numerous of each one. So it's tedious to put them all exactly where they're supposed to be. I don't recommend ever doing this. Dumping out your whole toolbox. I just don't recommend it. Top tip, guys. Don't dump out your ratchet set. You're welcome. I'm getting somewhere. I'm starting to go away. I'm almost done. That's all I got left to do. I'm almost done. So I've got it all put away. Check it out. Doesn't it look glorious? There's a couple missing because Joe's using them. But that is all the tools. All put away nice and neat. So yesterday I just decided to go crazy and shave it all off. It's all gone. All the beard, all the mustache. It'll be back soon. I grow beards fast, but I felt like looking 10 years younger. So there you go. Uh, <coughs> I've been working on a special little project that I kind of had the idea to do a while back. That project is a lighted backsplash for my kitchen. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, this is a LEDs, either the same kind of LEDs that I'm at, that I have wired up in here, um, and they will change color like that. But this is my backsplash. This is a light box that I've created. Uh, I put reflectics in the back to help reflect light out toward the uh, like the clear panel. It's not clear; it's translucent. It's white, translucent. But um, yeah, this is. This is my light box. This is going to be going up vertical across the back of my uh, countertop, you know, under my cabinets. Um, this is how I have to wire it in here. I have it wired up. I'm just going to connect some of these connections and I'm going to give it a test run and see what it looks like. All right, there we go. Now we got the lit, lit backsplash going. Hmm. It's not wired in permanently yet. There we have it, guys. There's the lit backsplash. It's all wired up. It's full of lights. <laughs> I think it looks pretty awesome. It's not wired in permanently. That's what that 2x4 over here on the side is. It's actually a whole ton of LEDs that I am going to be putting around the truck. But, um, yeah. Anyways, look at that. It looks awesome. It's pretty bright. What I'm also going to do is, up underneath this cabinet, I'll be installing LED lights along here that are white that will just shine down on the countertop. So, this won't be my only light, but I like it. Uh, one shot, two shots, how to mix with queen with the blue dot, thug light, two pot, smoke me a J on the rooftop. Well, I didn't walk you through the building of this uh, lighted backsplash for my kitchen, but... I guess I'll catch you up to speed right now. I've been having a little bit of builder's block. Uh, I've been getting little things done here and there, but I've really been taking my time on this build and I wanna make sure I do it 
just right the way I like it as far as I can see right now so uh, I've just been taking my time and thinking out every little detail making sure little details like this uh, fit right so like um, I have my uh, this little piece of, piece of trim right here you know this took me way too long to fit I notched it out so it fits in there just perfect and it looks it looks just wonderful but um, you know little things like that I've just been taking my time on and that includes this uh, this includes my big lighted backsplash here um, what I did was I routed out I had two by twos that's what the frame is made of these are made of two by twos and I routed out the edge you can see I just went all the way to the edge um, and I did uh, I cut the sides and I fit the sides pieces in so it's this white material is countersunk into the 2x2. Two two. Now I need to make a frame that's going to cover this lip all the way around. So I'm going to be using cedar and I'm going to make a frame that's going to make this look nice and neat and finished. My lighted backsplash box is almost complete though. I just got to assemble a little bit more of a frame and then I'm good to go. I'm going to start cutting on this cedar. I selected a nice panel to construct the frame out of. This is nice and smooth. Um, I like this one. So it's got some cool character with the knots and stuff. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to start ripping this down and creating a frame out of this. I'm still working on the lighted backsplash. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing now. It's so bright you can't barely even see, but this is Reflectix. So I lined the back of the panel, uh, the back of the box with Reflectix. Down there you can see the LED lights in the frame. See the LED lights going around? Well, the Reflectix is gonna help reflect the light back out into the uh, acrylic. I also wanted to mention to you that this is all made out of garbage. Uh, I found the white see-through boards in the trash and a dumpster um, it, it's just I'm just piecing it together out of stuff I found all right here's the look at the completed interior backsplash box um, I put the reflectix it's glued down to the backboard it's all screwed in and I got all the lights in and wired they are wired down here they go through the wall and they come out up here the wires are all run together, uh, spliced to an extension wire. It comes out of the side, it comes out of the frame right there. I cut a, a hole through to go through the frame and it comes out the side of the box here. That's going to go up to the uh, top of the truck to be wired in for power. Here's a look at what it looks like with the cedar frame in place that's going to be installed on it. I think it looks rather cool. Yep, I intentionally used boards with knots. I wanted a knot on every side that the light would actually kind of shine, shine through. So there's, there's a knot in each piece that has light shining through. I think it looks cool. That one you can see the frame, but I like that sort of thing. One thing I gotta figure out is how to attach the frame to the box itself. I don't know. Here's what it looks like installed, guys, with the cedar frame. I think it looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna just start piecing in uh, this other part. Uh, I'll, be, I'll just start piecing that in with planks of cedar but I think it just looks wonderful. It came out very, very nice. I love the way the different kinds of wood look on top of each other. It looks excellent. 